Hello and welcome to Tracy Momi Reads. So today on the channel I'm going to be answering 10 questions um, as in an effort to you know give you guys some insight to who I am and get to know me better. So the first question is coffee or tea? I am a tea drinker and I prefer hot tea. Uh, I usually try at least three or three times or more during the week uh, like in the mornings to drink a cup of hot tea you know, green tea, herbal tea, oolong, uh, things of that nature. Not a big fan of like, you know, like sweet cold tea, which is kind of, you know, anti-Southern of me, I suppose. <laughs> but um, I love the smell of coffee. I've just never gotten like a taste for it. I've tasted it before and it just tastes like burnt water. Sorry. Um, my favorite food, I could eat tacos and popcorn like every day. Not necessarily together I mean, although I don't know that that you know would make a bad combination but when I was in my 20s I used to live off of popcorn and you know fish tacos shrimp tacos beef tacos chicken tacos whatever kind of tacos but I, I have to like you know do that in moderation or my waistline will not be very forgiving uh, my guilty pleasure I really don't know that I have a guilty pleasure. I mean, because I don't feel any guilt about things that I enjoy. But I'm trying to think. It used to be, you know, I used to read a lot of uh, fan fiction, but it's been years <laughs> since I read any. But lately, you know, if it's something that I enjoy, I don't feel any guilt about it, and I don't care who knows. So take that. Uh, let's see, my favorite travel destination. My favorite travel destination, I've done a lot of traveling. But, you know, of course, I've been grounded here with COVID for the last year and a half. But before, you know, uh, COVID, we had, we've taken, we've had some adventures and taken a lot of trips. But my favorite destination has to be Hawaii. It's just something different about the air in Hawaii. It, it smells different. I mean, it smells cleaner. It smells sweeter. Could be all the pineapples. But I've been there four times. That's how, you know, amazing that place is. Oh, I miss it just thinking about it. Fun fact, I got married there. Let's see, favorite book, oh my God. You know, I talked about this in the last couple of videos when I did the top 10. It's hard for me to narrow down, but like I said, if you know, my back was pressed against the wall, I'd say Wake Up the Wind by J. California Cooper. Something people will be to, surprised to know about me. I am actually an introvert at my core. You know, I, like doing this, having a YouTube channel, it's just me and my phone in here. I'm gonna have to show y'all my setup one day. Y'all will laugh. But you know, like when I'm around a lot of people, I think I have this nervous energy that maybe manifests itself in a way that people would think I'm very extroverted, but I'm not. I'm like sweating and like wondering, okay, how much longer is this gonna go on? So yeah, I'm an introvert. Let's see, how do you start your day? I am not a morning person, first of all. I get my best ideas and do my best work and my best writing and creating at night, like late at night. So in the morning, how I start my day is I hit the snooze button a few times. <laughs> I just cannot make myself get out of the warm cocoon of my bed. I mean, I have to get up and wake my daughter up, but I'll go upstairs, wake her up, and go get right back in the bed. That's how much I love it, sleeping. Uh, let's see the next thing what is my pet peeve I don't like judgy people you know I mean my life's mantra is live and let live we are all here on a different and unique journey headed to the same destination so you know if people I mean now aside from like something where people are doing something systemic that's you know uh, infringing on a group of people uh-huh. Uh, I'm just talking about day-to-day -day stuff. People judging people for what they wear or where they decide to go or who they decide to love or any of that. It's like, really? Who are you? I mean, let people live their lives just like you're living yours. So yeah, judgy people, sit down. Nobody asked you. Let's see. Number nine. I guess I haven't been numbering these, but this is number nine. Three words to describe me. I am tenacious. I am creative and I'm, I'm supportive, you know, um, those are, yeah, three words to describe me. I 
don't give up until I can master the thing, whatever the thing is. So that's my tenacity. Creative, you know, I'm an author and um, I do freelance graphic design and I just like designing and, and just doing things, you know, see, I, things start in my mind as an idea and I love to see, bring them to fruition. So that's my creative. And then the supportive uh, part of me is, you know, if people are doing things or, or trying things, whether they're like on a journey to lose weight or if they want to start a business, you know, I'm going to support people, you know, and, and give them positive words and purchase their items and, all of that and I just wish that more people were supportive of what others are doing if we all supported each other be a, a much better situation going on in the world right now and number 10 my biggest accomplishment I want to say my children but I'm gonna have to wait to see how they really turn out first <laughs> kidding sorta um, but yeah that my children are my biggest accomplishments thus far but also the fact that I wrote five books um, you know that's writing is not an easy feat uh, and shame on anybody that thinks that it is you know sometimes the ideas may come to you that's easy you know maybe the writing part is easy maybe the editing is part is easy to some people but just in general it takes tenacity and commitment to to write and so I'm very proud of myself Five books one in the pipeline and also you know I got a college degree when I was like 42 and uh, I got a bachelor's degree in communication and that was something at that point I was working making decent money and then um, you know I knew I had hit a brick wall because I didn't have a degree for how much further I could probably go and it was just something personal that I wanted to do for myself and I had like little kids at that time but I didn't let it stop me I got my degree so that I felt really proud of myself when that happened because I was the first person in my family you know to get a college degree so anyway that's a little bit more about me and I hope that gives you some insights who I am and uh, next week I will be back with another book review thanks for watching make sure that you like this video comment and tell me something about yourself and please subscribe to my channel thanks